dude, you're in there for three hours training like a beast, legs killed. Then you went over and jumped on cardio, and you're fasting on top of that, so you're not even eating calories. Then you're getting five hours of sleep because you got to hustle. You got to hustle. Why am I injury free? 
Um, why have I been able to do this now? For 42 years I've been lifting. I've been uh, on stage since I was 13, and I'm 172 years old now. So, if it gives you any idea, there has to be a ladder, and it has to start slow. Okay, it's like any kind of business, any kind of things that you're doing, it starts slow and it picks up speed. So when you analyze things like nutrition, okay, nutrition's a big thing, right? Well, what should you do? Get rid of the carbohydrates. Okay, all right, I'm fine with studying. I test everything on myself and then I apply it to the millions around the world that I work with. Test everything, 100%, try it out. Give it a period of time, but stay true to it. Don't say I'm, I'm keto and then you do it for two weeks and you're like, ah, I'm done with it. Actually, give it a fair shot. You know, a, a zone diet, a carbohydrate diet, a fat diet, whatever you want to do, give it a fair shot, test it on you, because you can be the individual that's different. But I will say this, a lot of you are youngsters. Please don't run away from food. And also, don't change how your body mechanics work. The reason I'm here today is I can eat carbs. I never changed it to a point where my body could not utilize carbs because I would only stay with protein. You guys understand correctly? You do, right? That if you eat something more like protein and have your body try to figure out to use that as energy, when you absorb carbohydrates again, what happens? Anybody know? Blow up. And, and one of the biggest things is you guys look at these bodybuilders and you go, Bodybuilders are in great shape. Visually, visually they're in great shape. The inside is shiny car, dirty engine. And that's what society's becoming to now. It's just, oh, you look incredible. Let's not worry about the inside. We need not worry about the inside. The inside's the only thing, and if you build from the inside out, it changes the outside. Is it slower? Yeah. Can you keep it? Yeah. Understand that? When you rush anything, you cannot keep it. Unless you're Yahoo. Alright? <laughs> Amazon. That's the stuff you can keep. But when you go to weightlifting, there has to be an off-season. There has to be something that comes back. You've got to be able to come back, and as hard as it is mentally, and I know you guys are savages and you girls are barbarians, you know? You've got to drop back and restart every time. Now what I do, here's the hard thing. It's a hard thing, it's an easy thing to say, it's a hard thing to do. But what I find is this. I test myself and say, how little of work can I do just to maintain my body? Okay, do you understand that concept? Can I go away from squats, leg press, leg extension, leg curls, walking lunges, jumping off the building, climbing hills? Can I go away from all that kind of stuff, but to keep my leg size and development? And you back it down. All right, you don't do leg extensions. All right, you, for a couple weeks, then you take out leg press. Then you're just squatting. Your workout's just squats. Yes, you go as hard as you can, but you back it down. Now what happens when I restart and reintroduce? Right here? Talk to me. What happens? Exactly. So he said, basically what happens is, when you back down and you give your body less work, it's recovery. Alright? And then when you go back into it and apply more things, it's like you're working out for the first time. Holy cow, I got this good right up to the line. Now I'm going to just try to maintain, maybe I'll drop back a little bit. I'm not going to look just as good, but I'm going to drop here. Now you go back into it again. Now I'm stepping over it. Now you're better than before. See, that's how I grew up. I grew up with five older brothers and five older sisters that all competed. All right? So I lived this hands-on. And the one thing that I saw was, and, and drugs are in that world, what I saw was these guys jumped ahead of me. They're older, but I'm going to try to stay with them. And they would jump, and they would get so good, and they would compete, and they'd win their shows, and I'd be just seeing the size, and they were so much stronger. And I stayed consistent on understanding take time off, in a sense, 
bring the brain training back, keep your calories high, and they just went 100%. Then the body shuts down, nothing happens, they quit lifting, I move forward a little bit more. Then they start back up, they jump ahead again. But I'm creeping in every single time. I'm a little turtle, you know? Just a little turtle, just moving just a little bit. I know they run away, but they fall back. When they, when you see this, you guys go to the gyms. When you see that guy that six months ago was freaky, and then you go back in and he looks like nothing. Whoa, what, what, what happened? If you build correctly in a slow way, that all gets to 